So a while back I made a video on the Mastery Mode mod where all balloons were increased by one rank. Round 1 is blue balloons. If we send out round 40, it is a BFB. And while well, with the addition of the Random Tower series of Vared, why not try to combine both into one and see how that goes. Can I beat Mastery Mode? I'll do 100 rounds here with towers being randomized. And on top of that, we're going to play on a modded map too. This one's called Maze. Those of you who played BCD5 may very well remember this map as one of the easier ones. In fact, definitely one of the easiest. But I felt like I had to pick an easier map for this challenge because I'm pretty sure Mastery Mode is tougher than Chimps. Even though we have Knowledge Enabled, we have Selling Enabled, it's going to be a struggle because this mod has actually been designed so that, well, you don't make extra money from the Balloons 2. In fact, I think it's just half cash for the entirety of the game. I could be wrong about that, but if I remember how I played Mastery Mode back then, at least the modded one, I do recall the money we made was, uh pretty low, so this is going to be a tough early game, especially when I get a crappy glue gunner to start. I'm going to go ahead and randomize this right now. Okay, we get another crappy glue gunner. We need glue gunners to do damage, man. Or actually, alternatively, I could just drop a dart monkey, free dart monkey down. Uh, of course, I get a glue gunner. There we go, finally some damage. Once again, for those who are unaware, this is a balanced mod so that the towers that I randomized to aren't going to be randomly turning into a true sun god, just so things are more competitive and fair that way. And not just an easy win to around 100. But yeah, let's switch this uh, glue out. We got a 102 druid now. Okay, that's not bad. If I can leak some lives too, that would be cool. Although I guess I don't I don't need to lo lose lives because I can just randomize this later anyways, and I probably will. So let's see, what's next on the list? Probably this, this guy. See if we get anything good. 022 tack. That's decent, I guess. Just like all the other non-chimps random runs I've done, though, it's definitely more ideal if I get some farm towers up so that I have some leeway later on in the game. Because, yeah, I think how this master mode works is that it actually turns BFB to DD, so, like, yeah, normally, I feel like DDs are tougher to beat than ZMGs. But because this one is BFB to DT and then ZMG, that means we have to beat a DT on round 60. Basically the end of medium mode here. This is when you play on medium mode, but I should mention that they are hard prices just because of the way this mod is set up. That being said, Airburst is okay for now, so I'll keep it. What do I get rid of next? I want to say the ninja, but then I don't have any camo, so I'll probably just get rid of the attack shooter. Get a 001 ace now. That could probably get rid of, okay. Banana farm. It's a crappy banana farm, but again, better than nothing, so we take those. And this has been hotly suggested, but yes, I'm going to try limiting the amount of towers I have on the screen as well. There's no set number of towers I want to limit to, but I'm just going to try my best to keep it keep it simple and not cluttered. So the moment I get a camo upgrade, I can freely start going for... Uh, um, I can switch out my ninja, I mean. Let me just see if I can be a Rigos here, though. Hold on. I should have mentioned, no, no restarting either. Crap, I'm dead. Didn't think the Rigos are going to kill me, but uh, okay. It's not a good start, because I was going to try to do this with no continues, but that happened. I guess I'll switch out my ninja out immediately then, for something that is not regrow. I think one zero one can probably work. It'll turn these zebras to greens, and then I can hopefully take it out quickly. Let's change this one. Maybe it gets more range that way. Oh, I forgot. Um, It's mastery mode, so it's actually regrow rainbows. That's probably why we were dying. Also, put this on last so that it targets the regrows. Come on. Come on, Druid. There we go. Right, right. If they were Rigro Zebras, I probably would have been fine, but yeah, okay. So, let's see. Round 30 is the first Moab. Round 40 is the first BFB. That's what I'm telling you guys when I'm saying Master Mode's probably tougher than Chimps Mode. Even though we have an easier map and all knowledge. Let's see. Okay, another Banana Farm. Another crappy one. It is what it is, and I, again, got rid of my... Camo option, so let's see. Come on, bro. Come on. There we go. See, no flare. That ought to do it. Maybe turning these to farms were a bad idea. Because holy crap, I have no... No, uh, what do you call it? It's damage right now. Quickly. See if we get something decent. Uh oh 2 Ice, not good enough. Permafrost? Okay, O2-1 Boomerang. It's not good either. Here comes Ceramics. I should be fine, as long as they're not regrowing. 
Um, actually, I'll target the mortal. Oh my god, I'm dead. Yeah, this is actually way tougher than I thought. Oh my goodness. I'm just trying my best to stay alive here. Staying alive. 62 lives. Powered up druids is a good thing, though. Because you see now that we got them covered with the lives. I think we're okay now. On top of that, I think, uh, right, the targeting, too. In case you guys didn't know, you guys probably noticed, actually, but the targeting randomizes, too, every time I upgrade. I think I'm going to drop a new tower because this 130 Dark Monkey does some okay damage. I think I could probably use a lower range tower because this map is really long. Let's see. Uh, 102. 220. Can't really have any options to change it right now. I think I just got to upgrade this boomerang because I still need wall damage next round. So that's why I keep the druid around. Let's see. Ricochet. Okay. Turn the ricochet into a bio boomer, which is okay. I'm going to keep it for now. I might drop a new tower for round 40, but let me just see how the mob is first. And then we'll go on from there. Here we go, boys. Oh, it's two of them. Right, right, right. Let's see. Uh, that was the damage. If we can pop it here, that would be great. This group can probably clean up with Mortem Micro 2. Go, go, go. See how long Maze is, by the way? It takes a loop, or it takes a dead end first, a detour. And then it goes to its final destination, but yeah. That's rough. So let's get a new tower for round 40. Let me drop it... Let me drop it in the backside, because there's definitely a lot of track coverage if I end up getting a small range tower back here. 201. None appears. Darling gun, but it's base. Spike vault. This is group damage. Do I keep it? Ah, crap. I gotta keep it. I think I have to, because, like, I need group damage, and uh, I don't want to risk it for uh, something that doesn't do a whole lot. Let me just quickly get another one. Come on. One zero two sniper, damn that sucks. Well, I can't really change it, so let me just pray this is enough. I might sell some towers if it gets too far. Also, this BFP took the short route, which is unfortunate. I think it's a 50-50 chance it goes left or right initially. And we got the short end of the stick. Here we go, boys. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Once that triple shot's out of range, sell. Randomize. Uh quickly. Oh. Beautiful. I'm dead. Nope. Too late. Too late. Not even close there. There's continuing number two. It's a shame this doesn't have intel. Otherwise, I would have kept it. But we gotta randomize it. Into something better, and... Oh my god. We're just not having it for this run, are we? So let's make some money here. Do I sell some farms for this, or no? I'm gonna sell the spike vault. Oh, I still can't afford this. Okay, fine. Let's get rid of the 0 one too. Yolo. Balloon trap. Nope, not good enough. Reactor. Ah, oh, it's good group damage. You know what? Screw it. I'm going to keep it. I'm going to pray we have enough mob damage here. But there's a slight chance this is going to suck. All we got to do is pop it to Moabs and then we can go on from there. Submerge. Pop. Will ya? If I can pop it before we get to the Bloom Trap, we could actually soak up some stuff too. Come on. Come on, Druid. Come in clutch for me. Please? Oh, I just went over the trap. This is so bad. And two balloons took... They all took the short path. Wait, what? All right, this is just not, not it right now. Okay, randomize, uh, Arctic Wind, uh, nope. Another reactor, uh, no. Okay, this is fine, but I need to pop mobs now. New random tower, 021 dart. You know what, sell the last farm. We got no choice here. No, no. Uh, you know what, screw it, I'll, I'll keep darling. It's it's mob damage. Take three. All we gotta do is pop the mobile there, and then uh, once you pop it, the glue cleans up crazy well. Just watch here. And it's broken. Why are these towers broken, guys? Okay, th this is actually not fair here. If it wasn't broken, we would have beaten it easily. But something about it. I should note that we're only getting $1,000 per continue here. So it's not as unfair as you might think. In fact, again, it would have worked. Trust me. Now I got a shell shock. This is fine. Let's go again. I got a bonus 3k too. So let's quickly get something good. Come on. Uh, 013, nah. Bio Boomer. Okay, 202, that's group damage, fine. All right, so micro time. We got a micro two at a time here. So let's see, a Shell Shock. Gotta keep it ahead of the pack. And how about now? Still no? Bruh. Bruh. Well, we almost beat it that time. All right, let's see. Hot shots. That's mob damage, so fine. We'll keep it. 
New tower is a blade shooter. Fine, we keep it. Let's go again. I think I'm gonna sell two of the tax here quickly. Okay, Juggernaut. Now, don't choke this, don't choke this, don't choke this. Don't. I think we choke this. Um, that's actually not a lot of loons. Don't. Oh my goodness, thank goodness. Well, we might be in that round, but I'm pretty sure we're just, like, mega screwed for the next few, now that I got rid of all the farms. Even with the continue money, it's not looking hot. I mean, I guess the good news is that we don't have a BFB until round 50. So that's good. Also, after these Rigo Ceramics, let's upgrade. 023 Druid. Okay, bad news bears again. Six Moabs, I guess. Even this is a problem. In fact, round 47, 49 is going to be really tough too. Let's see. Do I need to drop some quick defense back here or what? Let's see. 023 Druid again. Okay. Surprisingly not that bad because I guess the, the mobs are a little bit more spaced than the other round. I guess good news is that we get a lot of money for these rounds. So we can afford to, well, get better towers now. Let's see if I get something good here. Nope, downdrafts. Well, it's good blowback, but do you think I should keep it? Actually, yes, I'll keep it. I'll keep it. It might be very helpful despite not doing good damage. Let's change this guy. 202, a boat is useless, so I'll save up to change it. Also, this is going to be a very fun round. Fortify Moabs. That's why we got downdraft, guys. Without downdraft, all the Serams just run by us. But right now, all we got to do is pop the mobile player, and we beat. We automatically beat the Intides. See this? It's a good thing I didn't switch up the down drafts, eh? Next hard round, well, next round is like, what? 30 Moabs? So let's swap out immediately. Oh! Almost amazing. But honestly, it's 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 good enough. 104 recursive. That's absolutely massive clearing out clumped waves. Uh, even though it's not fully uh, 204. I'll take it. Now, I think I'm going to reroll this guy over here. And pray for a good global range tower. Got a Maelstrom. Is that worth keeping? You know what? Fine. I'll take it. In case we need a clear out like a Rigo, a Rigo Clump. That could be very helpful. I think I'm going to start at a next tower. Let's say over here. So give me something good please. Blissey Missile. It's good group damage. And here's round 49. There's like what? 20 mobs here? I'll use the ability first actually. Because the cooldown's really fast. So you could probably use it multiple times here. To clear out... This massive clump. And that's why Maelstrom is goaded. Let's change the turbocharge now. Firebomber is probably not that great. Alright. Hydro Rocket. Beautiful. I still don't know if that's going to be enough to clear out round 50 here, but... Well, with global range towers, I think we have a good shot. And not having them regrow. Yep. Definitely looking a lot better now. And you see, the money is definitely rolling in. Let me see what I want to swap out next. Maybe this guy. I don't like a slow attacking um, Shell Shock. This is good, though. 203. Um, triple gun here. I think I'll swap out what next. Maybe uh, I'll do ballistic missile. Uh heavy shells, nah, nah. Bomb race. I'm gonna keep this because it's good group damage. And it's the backside. Honestly, it might not be a bad thing that we don't have any farms. Because I've seen be doing just fine so far. Here we got a P training with discount. I'm gonna keep this in case we get a strong primary tower. I'm gonna build a new tower. Open, it's good. Blue hose. Uh, I need corrosive. Ice skulls. Uh, I'll try again. Another village. Uh, it is cam protection. And it's a bit more reliable than Sino Flare, so uh, I guess I'll keep it. Uh oh, round 54 here could be trouble. Luckily, I have a Maelstrom to clutch up here, right? Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. I'm not sure what I want to swap out next because all these towers are at minimum decent, right? Honestly, I'll save the Druid. The mob damage, we probably have enough here right now. Ball lightning too, okay. 042 turbo charge. I don't know how much I like this one, because the group damage is really bad. But I guess if I have the ability on, it shreds mob, so okay, fine. We'll keep that as well. Next up, maybe uh oh man, this shotgun's actually not bad. It's got amazing range now. Now they got P training buff under it. Okay, so my biggest problem right now is can I beat round 60 DT? I do have a turbo charge that um can affect it. Uh, let me just randomize. Oh, we got an Alchemist buff. Nice. 402 
Yeah, let's see. It's buffing these two towers. Can I get a another tower in here? Because I prefer to not buff the Juggernaut. Maybe we can get something even better, perhaps, that would insta-kill DDT. Free win, perhaps. Long life spikes. Actually, this is good. If it's only one, uh, one DDT, we can build a massive spike pile. As long as we don't, obviously, um, get balloons to hit it. In which case, we wouldn't have any anything for DTs. Okay, here we go. We got one DT incoming. Uh, it didn't see camo, right? Does single player work on it? No, it doesn't. Well, pray that this has enough. And it does. Very nice. Again, the jump's not done. Even though it took forever to get around 60. My goal is to try to get 40 more rounds. The next round round's gonna be 63. Okay, so 40 mobs each wave. Well, I'm gonna swap with this one. Now that we don't need DT popping until 65. I gotta pray for amazing group mob damage. Okay, this is uh, not enough. No, uh, no. Oh my god. Well, I'm, I'm gonna allow myself to sell this. I can't get stuck at a fan club. I just can't. Rerolling until uh, it's good. 0 2 3 I guess, is better than this one. So I'll re-randomize this one. And pray. Come on, Merchant Man. Oh god, fine, I'll keep it. Let's get a new tower over here. And let's see. Uh, Save no flare. Nope. Honestly, I'm not sure if I like my chances for next round. But let's see. I want to swap out this one for a big one, but not yet. Here comes the wave of 20 mobs, by the way. I use one Moonstrom early. And then I can use another one later in the in the run. Alright, we can buy this. Shattering just Come on, bro. You know what? I'll keep it because it's good for DTs later on. And I guess let's see how to swap this one out. And I think we're recursive. We actually seem to do just fine. What do you guys think? Recursive coming in clutch. Let's not speak too soon yet because there's so many mobs back here that recursive is out of range of now. But that's why, again, we have the Maelstrom ability that has infinite pierce, basically. Just gotta pray that we get the cooldown up again, of course. Otherwise, we're dead in between the time. Come on, Juggernaut on first now. Maelstrom up now. Come on. Okay. Oh my god. Are we dead? No, okay. 71 lives. Way closer than I thought, though. Okay, this round could be pretty brutal, too. So, two DDTs. Shadow Shell should work on it, right? Or it does it not. Oh crap, if it doesn't, we're dead. Because I have nothing back here, right? No, I do not. Let's swap it out. Fighter Plane? This doesn't work on DTs. Recursive works on DDTs, but it's too late. Okay, I'm pretty sure with knowledge, you're supposed to paint strip DDTs. But... I guess we're dead. If I could get lucky here, that would be really nice. Oh! There we go. That's our way to victory, guys. Just get Hamma Village for our turbocharge. And put on strong for DDTs. And we should hopefully be good. So don't worry about the, uh... The amount of mobs here. I know it's a lot. Got a turbocharge on strong now. Should hopefully ba basically take all the mob damage off. Or the DT damage off. And there we go. Nice Sue. Okay, what's next to swap out? Shattering Shells? Come on. Dark Nighttime? Okay. But it doesn't have Plaza Blast, which makes it really weak. Do I still keep it, though? I think since it is being outbuffed, I kind of just have to keep it. Not gonna lie, I kind of like all these towers right now. So I'm just gonna go ahead and get a new one down. And pray it is... Uh, Gonna be a good one. Mob shove. Honestly, despite how good mob shove might be, I'm gonna go ahead and swap it out. Ooh, IMF loan. This could finally be, uh, well, a decent farming option. I want to forget the depositing ability. Also, that is a lot of Moabs. But it should be fine. Since we were able to beat CC3, right? Yeah. Not a problem with the course clusters, that's for sure. And yeah, bad news, guys. But our uh, IMF loan doesn't actually, uh, what do you call it? Allow depositing. I also don't know how I'm going to be at a bad on round 80. That's... I don't think I have nearly enough damage for that right now. So what, what do we do? I think I'll swap out the Merchant Man. Even though it does make money. I just gotta... Gotta go in. Okay, Assassin. This I'll take because this map is long. So hopefully we get a couple abilities off. But I'm still going to need something better. Maybe we can actually move the Dark Knight forward. So that it does... Yeah. Basically follow it along the track. And 
see where that takes us. So let's see, I'm gonna use the IMF loan ability. Gives me $20,000 to work with. And uh, basically, I'm just gonna randomize. It's not looking amazing. How good is this laser cannon? Nope. Buckshot, nope. Support Chinook, nope. Okay, Robo Monkey. This could be decent, but oh my god, seeing the short path again, why? Why are we so unlucky all the time? You know, surprisingly, so far, we're doing pretty good bad damage. But again, we gotta make sure we can pop the uh, DTs that spawn. I have no idea how we're gonna do that. I guess hopefully just pray that recurse. Oh, wait, it popped early. Well, okay. Wow. I was so scared about the bad, but that was probably the least of our tough rounds to worry about. So, randomize. Ooh, S mail. That's, uh, that means I can only get rid of this guy, right? Yeah, I'm gonna get rid of it. I'd rather have another tower in range of, like, uh, say, the, the villages, so that they're cheaper, they attack faster, yada yada, but this is huge. Now we still need mob damage. This is a mob shredder, but it's not gonna do much if it's not Spike Storm. So, re-randomize again. Rocket Storm this time. Still not bad damage, but since I uh, have this guy, I'll probably get rid of him instead. The weaker one. Oh yeah, also, another IMF loan. No reason not to get extra money while you're at it. Two downdrafts now. All right, let's get rid of this one then. Nope. Nope. All right. We'll sell him. Well, we're doing noticeably worse this time, but I still think we can pop this, right? Yeah, okay. That's fine. S-mail, once more. And we're good for 85 here. So let's see what I could do here. I could probably get rid of the Rocket Storm because it doesn't seem to be doing... Uh, that much damage after the ability, right? Yeah, screw it. Let's roll the dice to something good. Arcane Spike. You know what? This is better mob damage than, uh, what do you call it? The one we had previously, so fine. We'll keep it. And let's see. Uh, there's one bad. There's two bads. Uh, this is actually not as horrible as I thought, honestly. We're taking these bad boys down. No pun intended. Oh, also, we have a full uh, IMF loan now, so let's collect it. And let's see. What is the worst tower of all the towers we have right now? I feel like there is really no terrible tower here. But maybe I'll get rid of this guy, just because it's 1 4 And it's had a good run. Let's do it. Oh! This is amazing, actually. Plus 1 damage on, well, all attacks on the bad, so we'll keep it. I feel like at this point I want to drop a new tower, so let's go ahead and do that. We got a Snowstorm, which I guess can help to slow down DATs, so why not? But this is probably the one I'll uh, swallow next, once I get 20k. But yeah, despite our strongest terror only being a Super Maelstrom, it feels like we uh, are doing just fine right now. Obviously, there's still 10 rounds to go. So let's not speak too soon. So how are we looking here? Round 94 is about 6 bounce or so. Seem to be being fine. We probably should sell the IMF loan before round 100 hits. Actually, before 98. What's the hardest round before round 100 on Mastery Mode? Oh, also, crap. Do I Snowstorm here? Crap. That was really close to almost dying. You know what? Screw it. I'm done. Let's collect it. Do I want to sell it? Okay. Now, do I want to get rid of the snowstorm? You know what? Screw it. YOLO. Nice. No, not a glue storm. If it was 250, yes, but it doesn't work on mobs right now. Let me just show you. It would be so good if it did, but you see, none of the glue is working. So, uh, reroll. At least never. It's too late to make money. So, reroll. Ground zero. I have to keep this right. Yeah. It's insane nuke. Now I just need bad damage, so let's see. Uh, I mean, again, I think all this is at l at minimum decent, so we're gonna go ahead and drop a new tower. Keep entering, no. Okay, Plasma Accelerator is decent. It doesn't have attack speed, but I'll take it. Okay, and I think with that, we have round 96 in the bag, thanks to these extra towers. Let's just go ahead and end it off a little bit faster. Ground zero, nice. F bad time, by the way. It's only two of them, so I'm not concerned. I think we have a decent enough single target. If you can pop it now, that's good. Okay, do I GZ now or do I wait? I'm gonna wait because it's the uh, the second bat I'm scared about. So once it pops, come on. Give me the GZ. Will ya? There we go, now? Didn't even one-shot it. <laughs> that's fine. Maelstrom. Oh crap, actually, are we dead? Maybe I shouldn't have used GZ for this. Oh, I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead. No, I should have saved GZ. I'm so bad, guys. I'm so bad. Okay. If we redo this round, I think we can do it with the same towers. Don't even have to buy anything else. Okay, we should have enough this time, right? Come on, S-Mail. 
I just realized that the accelerator doesn't work on DDT is... Oh, crap. I'm, I'm dead. Ah, I used GZ there. Well, guys, this ain't good. I'll use another S-Mail. But we're actually lacking bad damage or DD damage. Which sucks. Because we're so close. Again. Okay, with the extra... Oh my god, I pressed the wrong upgrade. Guys, I just got rid of my camo village. This is really bad. I meant to actually upgrade this glue gunner. Okay, good. We got it. We got a, the mid bag. That's fine. That's fine. Okay, we got a mauler down here. I think the only thing I'm going to change is I guess I'm just going to move the uh, Dark Knight along the track so it does more damage faster. That's probably all I could really do. Okay, so now that it's attacking in range here, move it. And then just keep moving it right. Keep moving the lion along. Come on, F-Bad. Pop, will ya? Okay. Yeah, you see, this guy's... I have to use... I have to use it. Unless... Okay, you know what? I don't. I don't. Good. I thought we were gonna pop the DDs there, but we did. Luckily. Now, uh, all that's left is just time GZ at the right moment, and we're good. We'll even defortify the BFEs. And... Wait, I don't even have to use the ability, right? Okay, no, we don't. Nice. I don't think the rest of the round should be a problem. Actually, maybe this round. Eight bats here or something like that. Good luck. So, let's see. Just spam abilities once more. And we should have this. Okay, I might have to use a ground zero right here. Yeah, I will. Just one. And then hopefully you don't need it for the next four bats here. At least not soon. Alright, we got another s -mail ability. Let's use it. Apologies to the lag, by the way. That's just the mod glitching up. Alright. And uh, I have a GZ coming right now. Do I want to use it? Or should I wait? Okay, I can wait. In fact, I might not even have to use it. So this is only two BFEs here. Or two, two Zoom Gs. And you know what? Screw it. Just to be safe. 99. Another easy round because Zoom Gs. Or DT spawn into F Zongas. Which is no problem. And here we go, guys. The final round. What does round 100 Master Mode have again? Is it just one F bad? Because if so... Well, that's just an easy 97, and there it is, guys. Oh, actually, JK, there's two F-Bats, but still. If there's only two, that's no problem at all. Oh, actually, crap, there's three. Uh, is there gonna be more than three? Yeah, I don't remember the last time I played Mastery Mode. But this should be fine, right? If not, let's just quickly drop a... a Neo Terror down. Actually, no, it's not fine. If you remember, 97 was really hard. So, I need something good quick. I need a first strike or something. I keep... Get into a dead end with crappy towers. GG. GG's, boys. Uh, crossbow? No. Bomber race? No. Oh my god. I thought we had it in the bag because I thought this round was going to be easy. But it turns out otherwise. I'm going to GZ uh, here or no? Let's see. I have to. I think I got to do maybe sell this one here. Sell these two towers and quickly. The thing is, if I continue, I lose my turbocharger at the entrance, which is actually going to be brutal. Because I swear it was pretty good. But yeah, we're dead here, right? Okay, maybe we're not dead, but we're dead to the second bad. I can ground zero this part. Easy. Well, guys, we tried so hard and got so far, but in the end... Doesn't even matter. Nope. <laughs> Rip. I think all that's left is to basically just roll the die on something insane. So I'm gonna go ahead and sell all the unnecessary towers and... Let's just upgrade this bomb let's see what happens. Mark Mage. Okay, I'm pretty sure that's not gonna work. Reroll Assassin. Okay, another out buff. Let's reroll the Shattering Shells for the memes, Comanche. Okay, guys. Let's reroll the Plasma as well. A B E D S. Two S males? Okay. Alright, last try, guys. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. And well, to my eyes, guys, it seems like Arc Mage is uh, not that good. So, that'll do it. Turns out Master Mode was way harder than I thought. I thought at least, one, we have more money to deal with this. But, nah. Even on easy map, Master Mode is still insanely tough. And I'm not too disappointed, I guess, that I couldn't beat it. I at least got all the way to 100 rounds. I guess with the help of with like A uh, dozen continues. But either way, that was a long ride. I hope you guys still enjoyed, though. And once again, more ideas for random towers and stuff are welcome. See you next time.